Hi everyone, it's African Esquire and it is a night of topics, hot topics right now. And the one that I'm going to talk about right now is Monique. Um, I'm not going to get into this one too much because, um, you know, it's a lot of he said, she said. But I'll get into the, the general thing that irks me and the general thing that does irk me is um, regardless of, and I'm speaking to black people, regardless of if you agree with boycotting, and I personally, I don't, you know, I don't believe this, like, boycotting to, to get things necessarily. I believe in boycotting because you don't want to validate a certain institution, and so you want to take your money certain somewhere else. Um, but I don't believe in, you know, just boycotting to get on someone's bus, to get in someone's establishment. Like, if the establishment doesn't respect you, then just don't mess with it, period. Don't, you know, have an ultimate, ult ulterior motive as far as why you are not messing with them. Um, but if you, even if you don't agree with that, even if you, you don't necessarily think that Monique has a reason to be angry, I think the thing that got to me above all of this is just how hypercritical our people are of other black people who step out of line. It's almost like we, when, as soon as we see a black person, you know, step out of line with white authority, you know, we just pounce on them like they're a piece of meat and we're all lions, you know, starving to just say something. Um, if, if you don't agree with someone's stance, especially when it comes to things about racism, I think you should honestly be quiet. You know, if you if, if you see someone black and maybe you say, oh, you're pulling a race car or whatever that is. Um, maybe you see someone complaining about something and you, you really wouldn't have a problem with it. You know, that's you. But at the end of the day, you should never try to put water on someone's fire or tell someone that they're not their concerns are not valid. And that's one thing that I, I really can't stand when black people do this. You know, you can't uh, tell me when you know, my feelings should be heard about something, especially living in a racist society. You can't tell me when I should or should not be affected or feel triggered about something that the establishment does something to me. But because some of us have become so normalized to the way things go, whenever we see someone basically, like I said, step out of line, someone who wants to voice um disagreement about something, someone who wants to take a stand about something, we basically try to tell them whether or not you should feel a certain way. So you have a lot of people telling Monique, well, you know, you shouldn't feel this, you shouldn't voice this. And again, if you, the, for the fact that you understand what it's like being black in America, if someone black comes out and wants to speak out against racism, you should honestly, if even if you don't agree, just don't say anything, you know, don't say anything. I don't see any other groups with this attack, attack mentality against our own people. And that leads me to think that most of us are really brainwashed to think that we have to protect the white power structure and let them know, hey, you know, we don't mess with her. That's not how we think. You know, we, we really mess with you. We mess with how you do things. You know, Netflix, we're really for you, whatever you do. Um, we're so eager to prove that we're for, for the, the system that basically oppresses us. And it's disappointing because at the end of the day, like, we're all in the black struggle. Even if you don't align with a certain, um, even if you don't understand the struggle, you're still in the struggle. And even if you're not deeply mentally there, you know, at the end of the day, if someone sees you, they're going to see your skin and they're going to align you to a point of, to a place of inferiority based off of how they see you. So for that, um, I just found that irritating as far as Monique. Um, like I said, I'm not going to argue whether or not she should or should not have boycotted and, and she feels a certain way as a black woman She feels discriminated against. I'm not gonna argue against you. If you feel that way, you probably are valid So that's my thoughts on um, Monique. Hopefully we can learn to embrace each other um, And if you're not going to embrace just say nothing. That's my opinion. So I love to see your comments <laughs>